Looking for an easy way to show a before and after photo in WordPress? In this video, you will learn how to add a before and after image slider that helps you show two versions of an image together, all in under five minutes and using the popular page builder, Beaver Builder. Stick around until the end where you will also learn how to display multiple sliders in the same row. Hi there, I'm Jennifer Franklin, where I help you create and grow your WordPress websites quickly without stressing out over design or tech. Let's head over to my WordPress demo site and get started. Before we begin, we will need to be sure we have both the Beaver Builder page builder and ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder plugins installed and activated on our WordPress site. Note that you will need the premium version of the ultimate add-ons plugin to get access to the before and after slider feature. The good news is that unlike some of the other before and after slider plugins, the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder plugin adds many more advanced Beaver Builder modules and templates to your toolbox. Here are just a few reasons why I recommend this plugin. It's easy to use, fully responsive, highly customizable, both touch and mobile friendly. You can add custom labels and colors, have multiple sliders on one page with both horizontal and vertical orientations. Once you have the plugins installed, we need to create a page for our before and after image slider. Then click to launch the Beaver Builder editor. Now we can add the before and after module to the page. In the upper right hand corner, click on the plus button to open up the Beaver Builder content panel. Now let's click on modules. In the keyword search box, we can search for before and after and drag this module onto our page layout. The next step is to configure the settings for the before and after slider. If it's not already selected, go ahead and click the general tab. And in the before section, we can scroll down and click on select photo. Here you can choose one of the photos already uploaded or upload your own. I'm going to go ahead and select the before photo, then click on select photo. Next, I'm going to add the word before to the before label text. Let's go ahead and scroll down and add our after photo. In the after settings, click on select photo. And again, from the media library pop-up, we can click after photo and then click on select photo button. From here, let's scroll up again. Below this, we can add the word after for our after label text. The next tab is the styling tab. Here we can choose our before and after orientation. We can choose from horizontal or vertical. We can set our overall alignment. If you wish the slider to move on hover, then you would select yes. By default, the comparison handle is set to 0.5, which is in the center. You can adjust this if you wish. You can also change the handle color and thickness. Next, if you'd like to adjust any of the advanced options, you can click yes. The next tab allows you to update the settings for the labels. You can choose a label color, label background, the position and padding. Now that we have configured the module, we can save and publish our page. In the upper right hand corner, go ahead and click on the done button. Click publish when you're ready for the page to go live. And let's take a look and see the before and after slider in action. Now that we have our before and after slider up and running, a question that comes up a lot is, can I add multiple sliders in the same row? The answer is yes. Let's go ahead and click on Beaver Builder to open up the editor and let's drag in a row with three columns. Now we can go ahead and just duplicate this before after slider module and drag it to the next column. And then we can do that again so that we have three before and after sliders all in one row. To change the content for the second and third sliders, we would click on the module that we want to update and adjust the settings and upload new images as needed. Once everything looks good, go ahead and click done and publish. If you loved how easy it is to get this before and after slider set up, then I would encourage you to watch this next video where you will learn how to add business reviews to help you build trust and authority by adding real Google and Yelp reviews to your WordPress sites. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.